Les Adams. I'm a recent retiree from the Dade County Sheriff's Department, where I spent the last 15 years on the bomb squad. Uh, we want to talk a little bit today on the facts and the myths of uh, carbon fiber as it's used in the uh, knife industry. Um, there's a lot of misconceptions as far as carbon fiber is concerned uh, in regards to, to knife construction. Uh, basically, there's probably very, very few sources of high, carb, high quality carbon fiber out there for knives. And the problem is most of your carbon fiber out there does not have enough layers of carbon fiber in it to make it substantially good for knife. Uh, the carbon fiber in this particular piece here happens to be made by me, and it's probably about 30 layers of carbon fiber under about 12 ton of pressure. Uh, this particular one that's the industry is probably about nine layers, so it's three quarters uh, of uh, resin and probably has a lot of gaps in it. So you just really don't get the strength unless you come up with a carbon fiber that's, uh, that's made under, uh, under better conditions. Uh, carbon fiber has some inherent uh, problems in machining. Uh, for one, it's tremendously hard on end mills and any cutting devices. Uh, we recommend you use diamond bits and diamond cutters, but are usually cost prohibitive at maybe a couple hundred a piece. Coated carbide will work okay, but you'll have limited life. Another thing that you need to be very cautious of, carbon fiber, unbeknownst to a lot of people, is probably one of the best conductors of electricity out there. In machining carbon fiber, if you bring up dust or shards and it happens to get in inside your, your motors, uh, uh, of your end mill uh, machine, or your milling machine, uh, you could blow your motor up without any trouble at all. It, it's, it's the same material used in lightning arresters. In relation to this particular knife product, this particular knife is, uh, is an automatic, but it's a little different than any of the automatics uh, on the market. This knife is always on safe unless it's actually being open. Automatics inherently have a problem with coming open in your pocket uh, or gear and uh, cuts and, and this type of thing have occurred. So uh, I thought it was best to come up with one that has a safety on it that safety is always used. Uh, the safety on this particular knife is utilized by pushing it in the back position and then pushing the button. There's a little bit of a learning curve to it. The springs in these particular knives are probably about twice uh, the torque of uh, most of your commercial uh, automatics. What happens to automatic to, to work it? Your finger goes back and forth on that to get the feel of it. Once you, once you feel comfortable with it, you push the safety back and push the button at the same time, and it comes, uh, it comes automatically to you. At this particular point, it's now locked in position. The safety runs forward and locks a bolt on it. You cannot close it by pushing the button in the open position. In the closed position, if you just push the button, it will not open. You have to activate the safety in order to do that. And like I mentioned, the safety automatically goes into the safe mode and lets your finger off of it, creating a safe carry knife. And how about your uh, washer system and all that? In this particular automatic, the washer system uh, comes into play because it's a, a washer system that is very large compared to most uh, most automatics. Uh, it's about the size of a quarter. Most of your strength of a knife has to be sideways, and when you get a large washer system that covers a large area on the blade, you get a substantially stronger knife. The inside of uh, these particular knives, as you can see, uh, every part that's a moving part, uh, carbon fiber wears very well, you don't want to take any chances, so every part of the knife that moves is shielded by, uh, by stainless steel, whether it's the spring pocket or the button, button, in, uh, button side. Every part of this knife that's secured together is secured steel to steel. In other words, many makers will just screw a screw into one side of the carbon fiber and thread it into the other carbon fiber, which is not the way to make a knife. These uh, particular uh, uh, knives uh, have a steel sleeve that is threaded so that one side threads into the steel sleeve and the other side, so you're, cut, you're, you're, you're holding the knife together with steel to steel contact. <laughs> All right, terrific. Uh, all right. Thank you very much. Thank you.